<laughs> the driving force, the sustainable factor that's going to get us through this week, Laney. Plenty of heat, right? Yeah. Any way you can get it is what we will need later in the week as we've got cold air now and then bitter cold air in our forecast toward the end of the week and the weekend. Sunshine at first today and then the clouds rolled in. Get used to clouds because we've got cloudy skies in the forecast for your Tuesday and most of your Wednesday. Now, if you're traveling on Wednesday, the skies should be dry. Roads should be dry. No problems. Rain on Thursday, some of it heavy. Wind is going to be a big part of the weather story on Friday. There could be a little bit of snow too, especially in the mountains with some travel concerns. And then the cold air on Saturday, dangerous wind chill for the triad. And then the potential that you could have some leftover slippery conditions in the mountains Saturday. We are near freezing. Right now, 36 in Greensboro, 38 in Winston-Salem, 34 in Lexington and Asheboro, below freezing in Sparta and Galax. Tomorrow morning, temps in the 20s, very similar to what we had out there this morning, only more cloud cover. Yeah, we talked about this at the top of the newscast. Maybe a few little flurries kind of sneaking in here, some snizzle or drizzle. That is from this wave in the upper atmosphere kind of swinging through over the next hour or so. You might have some of that tomorrow morning, not concerned about that. We will have lots of clouds, could have a little bit of frost in spots. It'll be in the mid to upper 20s, so you'll need your winter coat, gloves, hat, scarves, all of that. Chilly tomorrow, 42 for a high. Cloudy Tuesday in the foothills as well. Chilly, 41 for an afternoon high. Morning temps, of course, in the 20s. And then we get above freezing in the mountains in the mid 30s, but also a cloudy day. All of this rain is going to be moving across the deep south, and yes, for the most most part, it will stay to our south. So we haven't added any precipitation to Tuesday night into Wednesday. I think the northern extent of this is going to stay far enough to the south right now. If anything changes, a little wobble with the track will, of course, change our forecast. But I think right now we've got dry skies into Wednesday, and then we'll wait for the moisture to come on Thursday. And then the cold comes in on Friday. These numbers below zero by about 20 degrees, and it's going to be plunging southward through much of the nation. So no matter where you spend the holiday across the central and eastern part of the U.S., it's going to be cold. Here's what you can expect on Thursday in our area. Rainy and cold in the triad. Morning freezing rain and light icing of it as possible in the mountains. So I'll caution you on that. It may be brief, but it could be there. For Friday, triad rain transition maybe to a brief period of wet snow at the end of it. We don't normally get snow in this scenario, but it could happen. Otherwise, I think it's a light mountain snow. Everybody's got the high winds, the single digits, the teens, the dangerous wind chills that are moving in. If you look at the map here, you can see just that touch of freezing rain early on Thursday. Plenty of rain, probably close to an inch. And then by Friday, we start off mild. Watch what happens during the day. Temperatures drop. We don't usually have falling temperatures during the day, but it will likely happen on Friday. And we could see at least a little bit of snow, a very narrow band pushing through on Friday as well. And then we end up really cold. I think Rainfall totals are close to an inch. That's widespread across the area. In this particular scenario, the most likely areas to receive some measurable snow will be right up against the mountains. Again, that could change. There are certain situations that could produce a little bit of snow in the triad. And as we get closer, we'll examine that a little more closely too. Bitter cold for the weekend, staying below freezing. We'll be right back.